Lest we forget, and not many have, this is the anniversary of the U.S.'s entry into World War II. Honda dealers don't have sales. Good idea. Now let's get into this business of football, right? All right, here we go. The Cougs set to play Florida State in the Peach Bowl. Houston owns a 12-2 and 2 advantage over Florida State. That's the good news, while the downside of that is the two schools haven't played each other since 1978 when Bill Yeoman's team beat FSU 27-21. Seminoles finished their regular season with three straight wins, including a blasting of Florida. This game will not have U of H as a favorite. The big deal now is trying to figure out how many Houston fans will spend New Year's Day Eve or New Year's Eve Day in Atlanta. The 11 o'clock in the morning kickoff didn't do them any favors. The school sent me a long note on how important it was to buy tickets and lodging packages through the university. Really? Congrats to the Texas Bowl picking LSU to play Texas Tech. A nice stroke. Those fans travel and spend money. Tech fans will be glad the wind isn't blowing, and LSU fans are glad that less turned into more. As for the pro team in town, they're back from a business trip to Buffalo where the home team won the game and our guys' four-game win streak is over. As I watched, I was heard speaking to the TV. What the hell, I said three times when the Texans were flagged for having a man downfield illegally on a punt. And they did it three times. The kid from LSU named Blue did it twice. I've watched the NFL for nearly 60 years. I can never remember that happening. And for you fans still screaming about the local quarterback, stop it. It wasn't his fault. You need to come up with something better. I was so distraught at the end I got, talking, I got talked into buying a new leather couch, a very expensive couch. I got to think that wouldn't have happened if Houston had won. After all, I didn't buy any new furniture during the win streak. This is Craig Roberts, and you've been listening to The Daily Craig.